Hey everyone, it is Ben. Let's have a little talk. I do want to preface this video by saying that this isn't really a fun, joyous video to be making, and anyone who has my condition knows that this isn't really something that's fun to be sharing. It's taken me a while to make this video because I wanted to make sure that all of my family and friends know about this before people on the internet do, so there's that. Okay, ripping off the band-aid, I have cancer. <laughs> But I've also known about this for like three, four days now, so I've had more time to process. And I know I can't just say, oh, I have cancer without showing you guys like what type of cancer I have, so I have lymphoma. And if you've been following my TikToks for a while now, you might've known that I've been like in and out of the hospital a little bit, kind of just testing for what I have. Just to brief you guys on what lymphoma is, it doesn't go in like stage one through four like a lot of other cancers, it goes in stage A, B, C. Stage A obviously being the lightest form and then stage C being the hardest form to treat. I have stage B, which is also the most popular one. I am very grateful that I didn't have the cancer in my bone marrow already because that would have meant like another two months of chemotherapy. So we got that out of the way, but this still does mean a good four months of chemo, which could be shorter or longer than we're expecting just depending on how my body reacts to it because it is a very intensive form of treatment. No, I think you guys all know what um, chemo means like I am gonna be trying to use a cold cap though, which is basically something that cuts off circulation from your head, but really all the doctors are kind of saying that I shouldn't be expecting that high results from it, but I'm gonna pray that it's gonna work. Even though most people have been telling me that using a cold cap isn't gonna stop most of my hair from falling out, I still wanna try it, cause like there's been some people who have been told that but then they got amazing results, you know? But I'm also not expecting anything, so I'm expecting for my hair to be gone. Not that my hair is the most important thing right now, but like that's the only thing that I care about because I'm not going to die. Wait, have I said that already? It's just that obviously while you're going through chemo, there's like a lot of side effects to that, which makes it kind of hard to just get through your day-to-day -day life. Also, a lot of you guys might've seen me on like a plane four-ish days ago. That was me traveling from New York hospital to this hospital in Toronto, so yeah. And the reason we did that was one, we don't have US health insurance and two, I can't go to school in New York and like I can't do anything in New York and a lot of my friends are here, so why not just come back? And who knows, maybe I'll recover like super quickly and I'll be able to go back to New York and get started on school again. Even though I still have to follow up with school here while I'm feeling good, which is kind of annoying. Anyways, I will make sure to keep you guys updated on literally every single step of this experience, but we'll see how it goes and yeah, I will keep you guys updated all the time. Okay, I'm not gonna go. I love every single one of you. Okay, bye.